Hi, how are you? Um, well, today, um, just want to ask a question. How has social media changed your life? Um, I mean, it's an interesting question. I think we don't think about it so much because we, we are totally immersed in social media. I mean, you're watching this on Facebook and social media, you know, um, internet. Um, but I, you know, I came from a, a well, we were born, I was born when there wasn't internet, right? Um, well, there was, but you know, it wasn't really. And when it, when it really came, when you realize that there was internet, it was around 1990s, uh, right? And then in 19, I think I remember 92, 93, 94, then the browser was available, then you could you know, use the browser and then uh, Yahoo, of course, you know, who has a Yahoo account? Who, whose first account was Yahoo account? Let me know if your first account was a Yahoo account. Um, and uh, yeah, let me just see who's, uh, who's, uh, who's online for a second. And, um, So, okay, let me see if it's working. I hope it's working. Okay, anyway. Um. Hi, Eileen. <laughs> so, um, so how has it changed your life? Tell me, let me know in what areas has it changed your life? Um, uh, <laughs> you're cooking, all right. So um, what are you cooking? So how has it changed your life? I mean, in what areas, in what aspects has social media changed your life? I think it's a tough question to answer because it's almost like, um, it's almost like everything, isn't it, right? I mean, just imagine, um, talk to somebody, you know, you WhatsApp somebody right away. You, um, you know, order something, you know, you grab food right away, you know, go somewhere, you, you grab something, you know. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, hi, uh, Dr. Tu. So how, how is it? Tell me some examples of how um, social media has changed your life. Um, you know, um, uh, you know, if, if, you know, I seldom watch TV now. I watch most of the time either YouTube or Netflix, right? I get my news from YouTube, right? Um, yeah, Elena, it's, it's changed your buying pattern, right? I mean, it's so easy to buy stuff now, isn't it? You know, <laughs> and it's so easy to compare. It's so easy to, you know, look at reviews. And sometimes we don't buy anything until we check YouTube, right? How many of you, when you buy something, before you buy it, you check YouTube, you check the reviews or you, you know, Hi, Annabelle. So yeah, that's changed our buying pattern. Um, I think it has changed how we uh, how we do stuff, right? How we um, uh, how we live, isn't it? How we live. Um, and um, it's true. That's another good one, Eileen. Um, you know, we are able to find our friends. You know. I remember when I graduated from uh, Austin, Texas, and then come back and work for many years, we kind of lost touch with a lot of friends. You know, it's either you forgot the phone number or you don't know where they are, you know how to contact them. And, and then with Facebook, right, right we, um, we are able to connect again. So uh, that's, that's really the power of social media, isn't it, right? So that's, that's really good. Um, I think um, quite common ones is grab, right? So, you know, we, 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 we don't say taxi anymore. We say grab, right? Um, food panda or grab food has become a, a daily term now. <laughs> and um, um, hotels is, is a Airbnb, you know, you know, where, where can we stay? You know, um, I know we used to have bed and breakfast, but, you know, it wasn't that convenient, isn't it? Um, or for me, at least. 
And then now there's Airbnb. So that's just amazing and you can go places. So that's changed our traveling. And of course, you know, um, like uh, buying, right? Buying things. And, um, you know, I was thinking about it the other day where um, before there was WhatsApp, I know there's a big news about WhatsApp. Before there was WhatsApp, there was, I remember I was using a BlackBerry and I wanted to use a BlackBerry because they had, they had this BlackBerry Messenger, right? BBM. And then you could talk to people. It was so cool, right? You, you know, you, you don't have to SMS. You could, you know, you could BlackBerry Messenger. But before, before that, there was just SMS. And I remember that when we SMS people, we could only limit it to, to 160 characters or else we'd have to, you know, get charged for another message, isn't it? But once there was WhatsApp, it was like, it was unlimited. I mean, you still have to pay, but you could, you know, you could um, write whatever you want, right? There was no limitations of, um, of words anymore. So, um, so that's kind of how it has changed your life. So how, how has it changed your life? You know, do you think about it? Do you, do you, I mean, maybe the younger people may not know. I mean, those born after 2000, the millennials, or no, 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 the, um, yeah, well, you know, you might not, you know, it may, it may not be a big drastic change. Um, and, uh, and I'm not saying that I'm old or anything, you know, I'm not saying that, oh, it's bad, it's good, but sometimes we don't realize how much it has changed our life. And, um, you know, and, uh, and sometimes we take it for granted, right? But I think it has changed our life so much that, um, that uh, even the way that we do businesses have changed, right? So, you know, you, you look at Uber, you look at Amazon, you look at Facebook, you know, they're just huge companies that, that Facebook is like the biggest content company, but then they don't produce their own content. And Amazon, you know, is the largest, you know, I don't know what you call this selling platform, maybe ne next to Alibaba, but like Alibaba, they don't have stores, right? They don't keep the inventory or, or, or something like that. And Grab and Uber, largest transportation companies, I think in terms of their, you know, um, capital. But then they don't really own a lot of cars, right? Like, like what we used to think. So traditional businesses, I think, have changed. The pattern has changed. And everything is like Annabelle says, online, yeah, yeah, kids online. Um, so um, so I, I look at what I do and the platform I have with NewSkin. And now I'm thinking to myself, is there any similarities? Well, number one, it's online. Number two, we don't have inventory like we well, we don't keep inventory. I we don't as a as a business person we don't keep inventory. We don't have overhead other than you know laptops or you know, you know at household overhead requirements. You know, and um, there is no employees, right? There's no employees, so. I, I look at that business model and these very successful companies, you know, wildly successful at what they do and look at this platform that I'm partnering with and say, oh, that's, that's cool because um, there are many things that we don't have to risk, you know. So um, anyway, I was just thinking about how technology has changed and how social media has changed our lives and how it has made our, um, uh, you know, um, uh, our lifestyles different anyway that's what i want to share with you tell me how social media has changed your life in what area um definitely kids learning today was um first day of my kids um school online and um and uh, it's pretty amazing how you can get 30 kids to watch you as a teacher to do that and uh and and the kids are getting used to it too right so um Anyway, so that's what I want to share today, um, and and somewhat I th I thank I I um, I appreciate this technology. I appreciate social media because um, uh, it, it has really you know made our lives a lot easier in in a way. I, I know that there are some negatives like oh you know we're too dependent on it, which we are, 
and you know it may spoil up spoil our eyes and you know it may cause us to have less face to face or interactions with people like i'm with you and um so i understand that but in general other than that it has really helped so i'm actually very grateful for this for technology um uh, uh i know about you i i like to uh, you know try new technology as well and see what they have and you know test it out are you one of those two early adopters of technology and um so um thank goodness for zoom right thank goodness for zoom Thank goodness for um, if you're using Google Duo or Meetups or anything like that. Thank goodness, right? Um, or else, wow, it would be in a crazy, crazy um, situation where we can't communicate, right? And thank goodness of, for fiber optics, right? So that we can have really awesome connections and, and things like that. So thank goodness for all these uh, things. Um, anyway, a little bit of a rambling here today. Um, that's my sharing. So how how has social media changed your life? So let me know. All right. So um, anyway, I'll that's it for today. I'll talk to you soon. And um, let me know if there's uh, any interesting topics you'd like me to talk about. Okay. Or any questions you like um, some coaching on. You know. Let me uh, let me uh, uh, let me uh, share with you if if I may. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Yuhi. Thanks, Erica. Kyrie, Viva, and uh, everyone else. Have a fantastic, fantastic uh, day, and I'll see you in a few days. I'll see you in a few days.